What an amazing view that is. So I'm lucky enough to live around here, but what I want to do today is show you one of my recipes I've created because I do quite a bit of cycling now um, and I'm obviously eating lots of cakes. So I've made a healthy, nutritious bar that I want to share with you. So let me show you what it looks like. So as you know, I've got my cooking channel and I love to cook desserts and all things sweet, but it's not very good for the figure. So I've started cycling all around the countryside and really enjoying it. And I get quite hungry as you do with sports. So flapjacks are lovely, but they're full of sugar and butter and syrup, no good. So I thought I would create my own healthy energy bar. Um, and I don't mind saying myself, it's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I've eaten one of these already I've been shooting this video so I'm going to show you in my kitchen so follow me so let me show you how to make these healthy energy flapjack bars so for the ingredients used I use nice organic oats and um, this is a really healthy recipe. Now, you don't have to put sugar in the recipe, but I like just a little bit of sugar. So a normal flapjack recipe has loads of sugar and loads of golden syrup. So I've taken all that out, but are just a little bit. So if you don't want to add the sugar, you don't have to, but I just like a little bit. And that, it's a good source of energy as well, sugar. I also use some lovely seeds, so you can use any seeds you want to. I've got some sunflower seeds, some uh, sesame seeds, there's lots in there. Now what I do, rather than buying them all individually, is I go, again, I've been into Tesco shopping, and I've got their fruit and seeds, it's a mixture, and I've also got fruit and nuts with cranberry. So again, that's a mixer, but you can put whatever fruit you want to. I'm gonna put the measurements on the video, so you'll be able to see those in a moment. I've got some, dates here um, stoned already then i've got some peanut butter now peanut butter i've gone for a really healthy one it's an organic peanut butter with no added sugar so that's really nice and healthy and nuts right so flaked almonds so just another top tip a really good top tip to get the flavor out of almonds most people put almonds in raw and um, but you're not going to get the flavor so i just pop them on a tray in the oven for about five minutes just to get a nice golden color and that will bring out the flavor and then you can mix it in because when they go in the oven within the mix they'll never roast and get that really nice flavor i've also got here some olive oil so we're not going to use any butter in the recipe we're going to use a virgin olive oil um, and bananas right you may look at these bananas and think they are awful but actually they're really nice and sweet so when your bananas go black like that you've got a really nice sweet flavor so that's going to give us a sweetness as well so you don't really need a lot of sugar in the recipe we also have some honey here as well some organic honey i've just put that into a pan another top tip is when you weigh your stuff just weigh your honey straight into the pan you're going to use rather than putting it into a bowl and trying to scrape it out so we're going to put that on a heat and we're going to put all the ingredients in there so we're going to start by gently heating our honey up just on a low heat then we're going to add the oil then the brown sugar and we just want that to melt once that's melted, we'll add the peanut butter. Now you want this on a low heat, don't have it too hot, just enough to melt it, that's all we're doing. So once that's melted, we're just gonna leave that to cool down a little bit. So we're just gonna chop off our dates. Now we don't want to have them too small, um, but we just want like rough chunks going through. Then we're going to mash our bananas. So you can see they're actually okay inside, they're nice and soft, and that's exactly what we want. Just take a fork and mash them up. So all we do now is add the mashed banana. And then fold in the rest of the ingredients. We've got the nuts going in, we've got the fruit going in. Almonds and the dates. We're going to mix that round. And then we just put the oats in. 
give that a good mix round, make sure it's all coated. So the tray I'm using today is a 30 centimetre by 25. And I've just got a piece of silicone paper. Um, and the easiest way to do it is just snip the corners down, each corner. And then you're just going to press that into the bottom of your tray. Use your fingers, go around the edge, just to give you a nice, and that's your tray lined. So you've got no crinkly bits in the corner, no wastage when you come to cut them into squares. So we're just going to pop this mix into your tray. Oh, look at that, that looks absolutely gorgeous. I've got to eat that raw as it is. I'm going to flatten that down. Now I've already set my oven on 150. I don't want the oven to be too hot because I don't want the fruit to burn um, and look like rabbit droppings, as I say. So we don't want that. So we just want a nice, gentle, slow cook. So press that into your tin. So there we go, look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous already? So in here, I've got 350 grams of fruit, nuts and seeds. Now you can make this your own. If you don't like dates, take them out, put apricots in there. As long as you've got 350 grams, it can be your personal recipe. So I'm gonna pop that into the oven now. It's gonna take approximately 25-ish minutes, depending on how thick your tray is and, and how big it is. And we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. So that's our 25 minutes exactly. That's a lovely colour and I'm going to leave that now just to cool down for about half an hour before we cut it. So now that's been sitting there for about half an hour. It's still slightly warm but it's ideal to cut at this stage so it's not too hard. We're going to just pop that onto the chopping board. So we're just going to divide that up into bars now. These are absolutely gorgeous, you have to try them. Lovely with a cup of tea, great energy source. If you're out and about, pat lunches, and the best thing of all, they freeze, so wrap them up in cling film, we've got 21 portions there. So thank you so much for joining me, thumbs up if you like the video, please subscribe, and I can't wait for another bite. See you on the next one. Mmm, gorgeous.